I'm Derek Hankerson, and I'm with FirstCoast.tv. This morning, I'm with my cousin B, and we're at Flagler College for the Yamasee Conference. B, good morning. Uh, Can you explain to the non-natives what B stands for? Uh, B in our language, uh, which our language is the language of Hichiti. Um, a lot of the Mikosuki people speak a form of it right now, but B means head chief. Um, and me being head chief of the Yamasee Indian Nation. Is the Yamasee Nation a federally recognized tribe? Well, that's a twofold question. And um, sometimes people lack the understanding of federal recognition versus federal acknowledgement. Federal acknowledgement is what we do have. And federal acknowledgement comes from various forms, treaties, um, federal court orders, and or the process where you petition the Bureau of Indian Affairs to be actually recognized. Now, once you receive or you put forth a treaty and, you know, make sure that your tribe is a part of that treaty and or you prove that you have a federal acknowledgement through court documentation, you can now use that in order to be federally recognized. We have federal acknowledgement through federal court documentation uh, and, it's, and it's nothing that we put on record or publicized through uh, online documentation and whatnot like that, but we do have federal acknowledgement through federal court system recognizing us as a legitimate tribe based on the standards of what a tribe is. How do we distinguish between the Creeks and the Yamasees? Well, that's, that's a very complicated but simple question, and it was posed yesterday at the conference. Uh, what was the distinction? And what we found is that we know historically there was no difference. The Yamasi were renamed the Creeks. The Creeks did not exist. Um, until after the Yamasee War of 1715. Um, if you get the book or you find yourself ever wanting to research a book, the invention of the Creek Nation identifies that inside of the documentation. It says that the name Creek was created for a political uh, purpose, which would be basically land acquisition. Uh -huh. So um, I think to try and piece this thing together or the puzzle together for people will create a uh, disruption of history. I think it would upset a lot of people because <laughs> you have a, a, a nation now called the Creek Nation right. that is federally recognized and right. people are like, well, why aren't the Yamasee recognized right. if they are actually the Creeks? Right. And, and some of that supporting factor was the Yamasee was the only tribal nation here in the Southeast that had an upper and lower chiefdom or confederacy. Right. So there was no upper or lower Creeks before there was an upper and lower Yamasi. Right. And so, you know, without going into detail, right. and, because this is, this is a very uh, controversial topic, right. um, without going into detail, I would just employ the viewers to, you know, do their own research exactly. and find out for themselves. And that's why it pays to tell the truth from the beginning. My last question is, why do academics assume all Yamasi have been extinct? <laughs> to be fair to the academics, I would not say that all academic scholars think the Yamasee were extinct. Because if they did, we wouldn't have a conference today. Good point. Um, this conference also outlined and entailed through factual documentation and proof through bloodlines, the continuation of Yamasee uh, clan members and grandmothers, and everything that they've had and presented here, that we were never extinct. That's the purpose of the first ever Yamasee conference, which also correlates with the 300-year anniversary of the Yamasee War of 1715. Um, the academic scholars that were um, centuries old, as we would like to say, let's go back in time. They had a unique purpose. They had a specific purpose to make the Yamasee extinct because we had a land settlement. We had a, a land agreement. We had one of the first reservations in the United States. It behooved them to say that these people who have given us problems for over you know, centuries now are dead. They're gone. Uh, it gives you right now to land, you know, gives you rights to the land. They needed to do that to disrupt the fabric of uh, the Native American population and also to encompass the land that they was trying to colonize. So after the Yamasi War, they had to have the Lord Proprietors feel comfortable about their investments, right. you know, coming from England and sending over their indentured right. servants, you know, servants right. to come here and then colonize the land. Right. It's sort of hard to say, I want you to invest in something in this new world, and you're saying, well, we have to worry about the savages, right. worry about those savages, you know, that, that just killed 400, you know, Charleston people and killed, you know, massacred all of our people. Right. Well, you know, the best way to do that was to write us out. Um, the Europeans have a saying that says, the pen is mightier than the sword. That's correct. And in this instant, it was. Right. Our people never had to need or want to write or read their documentation. Right. You know, we never cared about how they seen us. Right. Our whole purpose was for, for survival. That's right. You know, we cared about our children, That's our right. grandmothers, it's the same families. thing we are now. Exactly. And um, 
the whole writing this out was just that. But anyone that takes the time out, you know, without being ignorant, right. you actually take the time out and say, hey, you know, um, how did these people become extinct when you identifying them as Seminoles? Right. Or you identifying them as Mikosuki? Right. Or you identifying them as, as Yamasi Seminoles or all the different names they give us? How, how is that an extinct race? Right. How do you say these people no longer exist when you say these other tribesmen married into their women and had babies by their women when every tribe in the southeast had a matrilineal society right so that meant that if you had a baby from a woman and she was of the yamasi then that baby was yamasi that's right and so they have these things documented on semi seminal records right they have these things documented amongst the mikosuki right they have it documented amongst the creeks so you know when you say that you know again